Hello everyone, I'm Ming-Rei Zhang from the University of Washington, and I'm here to present the work A Comparative Study of Lexical and Semantic Emoji Suggestion System conducted by me, Alex Maria Kakis, Jacob Burke, and my advisor Jacob Warbrook. Everybody uses emojis and we love it. Um, every day there are over 5 billion emojis sent over the Facebook Messenger. And we can use uh, currently over 3,000 emojis. And last year, there are over 200 new emojis are added to the available list. Emojis are becoming really popular among our lives. And besides its popularity, emojis are also enriching the computer-based uh, mediated communication. First, it adds the expressiveness and makes our online conversation more engaging. Second, uh, some emojis such as laughing face, uh, upside down, can increase some sarcasm to the communication. Some people use combination of emojis to express complex meanings. And lastly, some emojis are used for their alternative meanings or secrets, such as using a pizza to, uh, to say I love you. Given its popularity, it's important for us to consider the input systems for emojis. A common way is to use the emoji keyboard, where a lot of emojis are piled on the list and, uh, and categorized in different lists and you can manually pick the emoji from the list. Some keyboards also offer search function for emojis. Recently, the emoji suggestion functions are also implemented in the keyboard. For example, if you type bear, uh, there will be an emoji of bear shown in the suggestion list. This is called the lexical-based emoji suggestion system where the emoji appears when you type certain keywords. And there is also another suggestion function, which is called uh, the semantic level emoji suggestions, where the emoji will be suggested based on the meaning of the input text. For example, in this picture, uh, there is a mobile app called Dango, which will provide semantic related emojis when you are typing. So really we have two suggestion systems, lexical, which is based on the keyword, and semantic, which is based on the meaning. Let's see some examples for better understanding their differences. Suppose the input is, I love him, but he just ignored me. For lexical output, because of the keyword is love, here, it will show some uh, emoji like loving faces, hearty eyes, uh, hearts. But for semantic outputs, the emojis are like heartbreak, uh, sad faces, because the, the, the emotion of the phrase is sad. And another example, I enjoyed the fish tonight very much. Uh, for lexical output, we can see there is fish emoji, there is a moon emoji for tonight, but for semantic outputs, uh, they are all like hungry faces, smiling faces, which represents the, uh, the emotion or semantic meaning of this phrase. So we were asking two research questions in this project. The first one is, how do suggestion mechanisms affect the emoji usage of online conversation? And the second is, how do they affect the overall chat experience. To investigate, the, uh, to investigate those uh, questions, we implemented a keyboard uh, with the two suggestion mechanisms. For the lexical level uh, emoji suggestion, where the keyboard will look for the last available keyword uh, in the input text and suggest emojis based on that keyword. For the semantic outputs, uh, it will suggest emoji based on the whole input sentence. So again, here is how they work. 
uh, for the lexical one, it will search the input and find the last available keyboard, a uh, keyword. Here in this example, the last available keyword is game. So the keyboard is suggesting some game related emojis. And for the semantic suggestion, it just uh, input the whole phrase and search for the uh, most related emojis. In this example, uh, it's I'm glad that they won the game. So some suggestions are clapping hands, thumb up or relief face. And how did we implement the suggestions? Well, for the lexical suggestion, we used a dictionary which stores uh, all the pairs of mappings from keyword to emojis. For the semantic suggestions, we used a neural network uh, called DeepMoji. The neural network model is trained on the Twitter data containing the Twitter text and its relating emojis. So the input will be the whole phrase and the output will be all the related emojis uh, to that phrase. After the implementation, we were ready for studies. For this project, we conducted two main studies, an uh, in-lab study where pairs of strangers use the keyboard to chat uh, with each other, and a, and a few development study where people install this keyboard on their phone and uh, use it for, for, for several days. So let's first talk about the in-lab study. We recruited 26 people divided them into 13 pairs. Each pair contains two strangers. Uh, they were seated in different rooms so that they didn't see each other during the conversation. We had them use the keyboard on three conditions. The first one is without any emoji suggestions. The second one is with lexical. The, the third one is with semantic level suggestions. Uh, please note, that participants were still able to use emoji and input them even in no suggestion condition. Um, because besides the suggestion way to uh, pick the emoji in the suggestion bar, um, participants can also click the emoji icon to trigger the emoji keyboard as shown here, um, and then manually pick any emoji they want. We logged their conversation status and analyzed the logs um, using now hypothesis testing method. So the results show that for the total characters they input during the conversation, there is no significant results, showing that they talked around the same amount using either uh, keyboard. For the total emojis they, put, they input during the conversation, there is also no significant uh, difference, suggesting that no matter what the suggestion mechanism is, participants always use similar amounts uh, of emojis. Finally, between the two suggestion conditions, we found that users selected significantly more emojis from the suggestion list in the semantic uh, suggestion situation than the lexical one. This also implied that in the lexical condition, people manually picked more emojis from the emoji list. We also make participants fill our surveys, including questions about their chatting experience using uh, Likert scales, such as the chatting experience was interesting I could express my emotion clearly using the keyboard. However, we did not find any significant results in all the answers. This implies that the suggestion mechanism did not affect the chatting experience. However, um, the in-lab study was conducted between strangers where they might be not comfortable sending emojis to each other because um, emoji are, are, are often perceived as less serious. So to uh, study the effect in a more realistic setting, 
we conducted a second study, a field deployment. We recruited 18 participants, separated them into two groups, and made them install the, uh, the keyboard on their phone and use it in their daily conversation for 15 days. For group one, they used the keyboard with no suggestion in the first five days, and then they switch back, uh, they switch to the lexical suggestion keyboard. And in the last five days, they switch back to the no suggestion keyboard. For the other group, group two, uh, they had a similar order, except that they use the uh, semantic, uh, semantic level emoji suggestion keyboard in their second period. Again, in this study, we uh, log their conversational data, including input characters, input emojis, and selected emojis from the emoji list. At the end of the study, uh, they also filled out a survey about how the keyboard affected their online conversation experience. The result was that during the second period of the development, participants in both groups used significantly more emojis than the first period, where they they used a keyboard a keyboard without any emoji suggestions. On the other hand, uh, the rest of the data was pretty similar to the in lab study. For total characters, there uh, there was no significant difference between the two groups in the second, uh, among all the three periods, suggesting that adding emoji suggestions did not affect their conversation amount. And for the total emojis, there is no difference uh, between the two groups in the second period. Also, um, for selected emojis, we still find that people selected more emojis when they were using the semantic suggestion keyboard uh, versus the lexical one. This means that semantic suggestions are more relevant so that it saves the time to pick the emoji manually from the keyboard, although um, it did not change the overall emoji usage. Again, there was no significant uh, difference in the survey results indicating that the level of suggestion mechanism did not affect their chatting experience. We also gather subjective feedback from the users and um, summarize several features on the two level suggestions. So for lexical ones, participants like the, uh, like the lexical suggestion emoji um, mentioning that it sometimes provided rare emojis or often offered various options that can surprise them, um, like objects and symbol emojis, whereas the semantic level keyboard mostly suggests emotional related emojis, such as facial expressions. For the semantic suggestion, Participants like its relevance, mentioning that the keyboard understands their tones, um, such as a positive or negative connotation. And interestingly, uh, two participants also found that they changed their original language style when using the semantic based emoji suggestion keyboard. One said that he would change the phrase in order to make the keyboard to predict, uh, predict a certain emoji in mind. To conclude, the emoji suggestion mechanism, including the lexical and semantic based emoji suggestions, does not affect the online chatting experience. It is the emoji itself rather than the suggestion mechanism that affect the experience. However, semantic predict emojis are perceived more relevant and used more than the, uh, the lexical-based suggestions. 
From the subjective feedback, we found that our participants like both suggestions uh, for different reasons. We therefore asked to combine these two levels uh, suggestions in the keyboard design in order to provide a better user experience. Thanks for listening. This work was partly supported by Baidu company and uh, please ask if you have any questions.